Camp Emerald Bay's history is also a history of the people that have cared about it, who've had the visions for it, the visions for young people at Emerald Bay. It was founded in 1925 as a small encampment on the most beautiful cove on Catalina Island. It was a sleepy little encampment until World War II when the Navy Seabees came in and built barracks and other improvements which the Boy Scouts inherited after the end of the war. The camp expanded to accommodate about 350 scouts and explorers in the early 60s and now we serve over 600 kids a week during the summer and about 350 kids a week in the fall and spring as part of our outdoor education program. Emerald Bay is a special place just because of its locale. The weather we get here, especially in the summertime, is ideal. The ocean keeps it right about 72, 75 degrees here full time. It's only 26 miles from the nearest port in Los Angeles, and yet it's worlds and worlds away. He said right on the water and uh, are surrounded by uh, undeveloped hillsides with uh, natural vegetation. It's been a wonderful place with a lot of uh, memories that I've had in, in that experience coming from as a camper as well as being on staff. It's just a wonderful place to be and you can count on the weather and these kids that come from Arizona and places like that, they think they've died and gone to heaven when they get here. And welcome to Camp Emerald Bay. Walking you to our sins. We're going to go kayaking, we're going mountain biking and hiking as well. Once again, okay? good afternoon so and welcome to Camp Emerald Bay. That's awesome. Are you guys ready for an awesome week? Come on. Yeah! I want to know some of the stuff we're doing. We're going to be hiking, biking, kayaking, walking to the bus, biking to the beach, going to the beach, going to the Guam, going to rowing, and doing anything you guys want to do. Sound good? Emerald Bay is a, is a facility of small in its location, but uh, bigger in its opportunities. The comments I get most often as, as camp director is that there's just far more than they can possibly do in, in any one week. And for a troop, large or small, there's all kinds of opportunities. It starts with our, our waterfront, of course, where, where everyone comes in and out of camp uh, by way of uh, a boat that crosses the channel. And we start with uh, everything from swimming and life-saving to sailing and kayaking, scuba diving, snorkeling. and other opportunities such as our overnight war canoe experience that goes to a, a remote beach provides for a unique opportunity to get outside. In camp itself we have on all kinds of activities starting with our, our handicraft lodge where we focus on crafts such as leather work, pottery, we have basketry. In our field sports area we have archery, rifle, shotgun shooting ranges. We also have a nature area where we can focus on the endemic and endangered species that live on Catalina Island. We offer a host of merit badges there as well. One of our major goals over the last several years is, is how do we create and develop programming that is exciting and challenging for the scout who is 14 to 18 years old. What we've done is developed our Rugged Adventure program with the goal to be able to give scouts an opportunity to be able to, in real-time experiences, develop their leadership skills in an ethical manner. It's open to young men and young women who want to challenge their own boundaries and learn to express values and leadership in group settings. Rugged E takes scouts on overnight war canoe trips, overnight mountain biking trips, uh, and takes them to the far corners of Catalina Island to get to do things that no one else in camp is able to do. They experience scuba diving, kayaking, sailing, challenging hikes, nighttime activities. And uh, each of the scouts have to take a leadership role within that program. And it's uh, pretty challenging and a lot of fun. Since the beginning of the camp, one of the major emphases in the program has been the ocean. We looked at the fact that one of the things our young people need to know is how to take care of this ocean, how to understand its flora and fauna, 
This is one of the richest areas for both in the entire world. And this dream grew and grew with a vision of the Penningtons. Our Marine Science Center was created. It grew from the idea of maybe a couple of tanks to what is now one of the premier marine science centers on the entire West Coast, if not our country. We also have a scuba diving program where scouts can come out and get uh, exposed to the sport for the, the first time in a half day experience or can take a week long experience and get a, a full certification. We even have a week long scuba certification program that is advanced in nature and focuses on advanced techniques such as deep dives and recovery dives, night dives and the things that tend to capture a scout's imagination. There's a real camaraderie here among the counselors. Uh, there's an alumni club. I mean, they come back and they just, they just love it. This is a place to learn to be leaders, to learn values, good citizenship, self-reliance, and teamwork. So when we come out here to this special place, we leave behind the tensions and the cares and the traffic and crowding of a great city and we come to a great place to enjoy scouting and to enjoy relationships. But more than that, we're building the people that will lead our companies into the future. We're building the people that will volunteer in their communities to lead other young people and other adults. But more than anything, we think we build a confident human being that wants to serve others.